Hello community, it's John Jackson here. Um, I'm out in one of our back pastures uh, that we kind of set up as a feedlot for uh, deer season this year. I uh, had a late start at it, but uh, what I want to share with you guys is the importance of of burning, right? Why burning is so important for, uh, for your ground. Um, if you kind of look out here, you kind of see a bunch of, you know, it's like bare spots and things like that. And... Uh, at the end of the day, uh, one, we had a burn pile that we did here on, on the ground. And uh, what I want to show you is the significance of why the burn is important. Number one, when you're burning and you're putting those, uh, the charcoal, um, the coals, they're going back into the ground. That's carbon, right? That carbon is going right back into the ground. And micro, microbes actually... Uh, they need that carbon to survive, okay? Uh, they thrive on it. It's like sugar for them. Um, but what happens is when they get enough of that carbon, they go ahead and create a symbiotic relationship with plants. And uh, a lot plants, everyone thinks that nitrogen is the most important thing for plants. But nitrogen is, is not. I'm here to tell you. Uh, what's more important for plants are nitrates, right? And the... Uh, in the microbial growth that's in your soil because of the carbon, they form a symbiotic relationship with the actual plant to uh, give them the nitrates they need. The plant then in turn sucks down more carbon into the soil. Those microbes create a, a beautiful relationship and feed the plant the nitrates that they need. Let me show you an example of what that looks like. All right. So if you kind of look out here, right? And if, if, I, if I asked you, where do you think the burn pile was? I mean, it, it's very obvious, right? It's not over there. It's some of it's over there because we scattered it. But most of it is right here. Most of it is right here. This is where the burn pile is. Look at these plants. Look at these plants. I mean, these these are these guys are growing huge. They're growing huge. Look at this. Okay. That's only done because of the symbiotic relationship between the microbes and the carbon, and the plants are responding in effect. Uh, come down here. I'm looking for deer sign. Guess what? Deer are chewing off the tops of these. They're growing back, right? You know what this is? Look at this. Yeah. I mean, come on guys. If this doesn't tell you, if this doesn't tell you why burning is important, I don't know what else will, right? Because it's getting all the avail available nutrients that they need to grow. Um, especially daikon radish during this time of the year too. When we grow this radish, um, it goes ahead uh, during the, uh, in, in the spring, it dies back. And what it does, it rots. And guess what likes to eat it? Worms, other um, animals, they come up and they eat that. I'm looking at this right now. Most of the daikon radish are being nibbled and chewed on, right? This is telling me that this is a... Uh, this is a uh, high value food source uh, for these animals. And then as we get more into winter, they're gonna be eating, uh, digging up and things like that too. So if you can, do a burn. If you have a spreader, spread it all out on your new land. It's gonna provide the phosphorus, the calcium, everything that's needed uh, for your, uh, for your uh, food plot or your growing area to actually get the best nutrients as possible. All right, man, for more tips, you know, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And we got a lot that we're going to be doing in 2024 with travel, working with a lot of vets. Um, you know, obviously the falconry thing that you guys are here for. So, um, hey, I look forward to sharing. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you have a tip, that a pro tip that you have uh, with your own garden place, share it. Uh, we'll talk later. Later.